Now, what I would prefer as a means of putting a check on this unlimited lifetime appointment would be to require all federal judges to have to come before the Senate. The Senate has confirmation powers for appointments to the bench. Have all federal judges, including justices to the Supreme Court, have to come before the Senate and go through that same confirmation process that they have to go through during that initial appointment. Every five years or every 10 years or every eight years, uh, the time will be arbitrary. But to make them have to come back before the Congress, before the Senate in particular, restate their judicial philosophy, uh, restate uh, so that we might see whether or not they uh, have become senile on the job, to try to be certain that they still have an ability to fulfill that function. I believe that it's time to get rid of this nonsense, this busing issue, by a constitutional amendment. Let's put it to rest. Let's bury it. Let's get rid of it. There are great issues before the American people. But certainly this is one of them. The, the basic issue is the rights of parents in education, to control education, not to turn it over to the federal government. This is what's happening, whether it's prayer in schools or whether it's busing. The decisions are made by an arbitrary power that you or I can do nothing about. It needs changing. There is something that people can do about it, not by being concerned with officials in the city of Dallas, but by doing something about making federal judges accountable. The federal judges are where the power is, and they're one making the decision. Uh, we're, we're, what we're dealing with is a balance of power in government and a, and a move brought on by the power of the courts to change this balance of power.